Hi guys, it's Brittany. Happy Halloween. So, as of today, I'm actually dressed up as a gold heart where it says love on it. And yes, I did put these hearts on me. It's a part of my own uh, last minute um, Halloween costume, but it's actually quite good so um, hope you guys are having a great and fun Halloween and um, so yes I'll be doing some videos and <clears throat> I'm sorry my throat's a little dry um, so yeah you'll be seeing these other videos that I'll be doing on Halloween that I do every year and hope you enjoy them. So, today will be a movie review and I'll be reviewing Signs. And <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <coughs> Hang on a sec. I'm so sorry. I don't know why <clears throat> my throat's a bit dry. It could be maybe because there's something weird going on on Halloween. I mean, I don't know. Or it could be the the air in here, but then again, there is no air. Um, so, okay, so Science came out in 2002. Yeah, okay, let me look it up on the exact date. <clears throat> so, uh, while I'm looking, um, what are you guys doing today on Halloween and um, what's your costume, you know? Like what are you dressing up as or what are you dressing up right now? Amen. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> so let's see. Ah, so here's free to watch on YouTube, and that's it. Is that? Wait, that's when it came out. I'm sorry, I just looked at the date, so I'm wondering, is that the, the real date? So, hang on. Um, actually, no, okay, because before it said um, July 29th, 2002, so I wasn't sure if that was the real date, but on here it says it came out in theaters August 2nd, 2002. So, I was... Um, okay. Okay, so I was actually, I was actually 10 at the time of this release. Whew. So that would have been real scary if I had seen it around that time. Because, yeah, I was 10 around the time it came out, but then, of course, um, because, yeah, later in November that year, I turned 11. So, no, I did not see it at the time that it came out, which I'm glad I didn't, because I would have been really scared. But, yeah, that's the day that it came out in theaters, and it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan. If I actually said that right, um, and stars Mel Gibson, Joaquin Phoenix, Abigail Breslin, and Rory Culkin. And so this is actually a good, um, different take movie uh, on a alien type of movie because there are so many you know, alien movies that we see where, you know, it is sci-fi, 
but some of them are pretty much what we get to see where they're very aggressive like in Alien of the Alien franchise or there's some where they're not so scary and it's kind of comical in the Men in Black franchise and we get to see like this um, cute like animated alien and Lilo and Stitch and what else? Oh yeah, and then there's another one like a friendly family movie of E.T. and then there's um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There's um, there is one with Christopher Walken, which is Communion. Now I did saw that recently this year, and I would say there are some parts where it was scary, but. I actually thought some parts were actually quite strange and I'm like okay what's, what's going on here because there's a part where he's in the spaceship and all these weird things are going on and he's seen like another version of himself you know so that to me was a little strange and yet confusing because I couldn't make sense of that scene but what I'm just saying is that there are these other different alien movies. There are some that are scary, there are some where maybe it's a bit strange and not so scary, and where there are some where it's a bit comical, and there's also um, Independence Day. And I would say that is also a bit scary too, but of course you do have some humor within the movie. Now with all these different um, varieties of different um, like all these different things of we see of these alien movies but yet there is one that were it's, it's just very much more serious and the tone is just um, it has this well, you know, science. Because science is nothing like in a book. You know, it's not. It's nothing like the Alien franchise or Independence Day or nothing else that we have seen when it comes to an Alien movie. This one takes um, a, a completely different take and a different mood setting and atmosphere of the movie as a whole and I would say with M. Night Shyamalan if that's how you say it which I'm sorry I'm trying to get it right but I would say he did such a great job directing this movie because I had never seen an alien movie like this before and the tone of it is just very serious and it, it also has this, you know, sad, you know, also um, depressing kind of tone because of something that Mel Gibson's character had went through of, um, <clears throat> of you know, losing his wife in, in, a, in an accident. A car accident but you know the way it happened it was just um, different and it was just very very sad and to see how their kids are handling it um, of what they're going through without their mom present there like it's just it's just sad to see but of course we don't get to see because we don't know what's going on at first but towards going to a bit more to the movie then we start to see like oh, okay this this is what's happening and then of course we get to know a little bit more and so I think you could say they're still grieving but of course as you can see they're not really interacting with each other they're not doing anything to in a way comfort each other because each one is dealing their grief um, in their own way and 
And so yeah, um, as we can see, like, and like they're doing what they're, like, they are doing what they can, um, um, I think to try to make the best of it, but it's like, even though they are, but yet it's not really quite the same. And so I, I, I get that. You know, and so yeah, it it does. You know, it has this very serious, um, but um, a bit depressing um, tone to it. And when you start to how the, when you see how the story is unfolding, you kind of understand a little bit more of their situation and you know, pretty much what they're going through. But even during this time of what they're going through of the mourning of the loss of his wife and their mother, that there's this, um, a another situation that's going on of a, of an alien invasion and and so, you know, when we see this, you know, it takes a whole different take on it. Because it's not one of those type of alien movies where, you know, where they just come out and it's just like so violent and aggressive. Now, now they are like that in nature, like, like the, the, I think what we can see is that they are like that, but at first, like, it's kind of like they will, um, I don't know how else to put it, but, um, what I'm saying is like, it has, that's why I'm saying it's not like alien in that way, because, you know, it's, it, it doesn't have, you know, any jump scares and all of a sudden you just see one popping out. No, because by the time we do get to see them, it's not exactly, well, we kind of see them here and there, but it's not exactly like in your face, you know, type of movie. <laughs> um, but, you know, towards the end, that's when things start to really get intense. And, and so, yeah, even with the... Um, Joaquin Phoenix with his character, he's like, you know, living with his brother, um, and so, you know, I think he's there, you know, to, to so support him and his niece and nephew, but, um, yeah, they're, as you can see, they're all going through, um, a tough time, and so, you know, they're doing the best they can, but also when this alien situation comes up, it, things just get scary um and yeah i i liked how m night Shyamalan uh took this whole different direction of a alien movie where the tone is like where it it's like um you know where the tone is just different like it's not all up there like in your face but it's just like like it's kind of like low i don't know if the best way to put it like it starts off slow but then at some point some things here and there start to get a bit more scary and it starts to get more intense and it's like okay like we have a real problem here and um now the scene were um okay you know how the the daughter when she couldn't sleep and she wanted a glass of water now at some point when she did get a glass of water and he talks to her into her room and she's seeing how you know she misses her mom and you can see he looks sad because he does too, but then when he looks out her window, you see this um, dark figure standing on the roof on the other side of the house, and that is scary 
to see. That's a scary sight. So of course, what the the first thing um, he does when he sees that he gets up really fast and he wakes up his brother, but then he tells him that um, what was it? He says something that he believes it was someone who he thought it was that was up on the roof, like just messing around with them. But <laughs> turns out, little did they know, it's there was something out there messing with him that was on the roof but what he thought it was or who it was was not who he thought it was it was not human it's um uh an alien now of course he doesn't know that at first but at some point he starts to you know then he knows I think that part was actually quite funny. So this movie has a bit of humor in it, just a bit, with some parts within a movie, but overall it does have a very um, sad but yet serious tone, you know? And. And now the thing is, because the next day when they had talked to the police, I think when they talked to um, the the officer um, about it, about the situation that that happened that night, she was asking him questions, saying like, "Are you sure this wasn't human?" Now. Now, funny thing is, I actually had a dream about that, where that's particular scene had a bit more humor to it where when she was asking me, asking them like are you sure this wasn't a person like what what if it was a a, a gymnast like a, a like a you know woman gymnast and and so because in the dream they were saying like oh no no this wasn't a person that this was a woman on the roof and one of them actually in the dream said like oh no believe me if it was one we would have saw a, a figure of a woman on the roof and we would have you know brought her down if she needed help to get down from the roof so that scene had a bit more humor to us you want to check it out um you can check it out in my dream playlist but yeah i thought that was actually quite funny but but that scene itself was, you know, of course, more serious. But I think even that was kind of funny because there was something like, no, no, it was very dark. You know, and of course it was. It was so dark. They couldn't see exactly who or what it was. But in this case, the alien is not a who because it might be a living thing, you know, some type of... um creature, you know, of, uh, you know, of another, uh, type of being, but it's not a who, as in, like, like a person, it's a, to me, I see it as a what, because they're, they're just not human, there's just something else, you know. So, yeah, but, the thing is, I, I do think the director did a great job taking a different take on the movie and I think the cast is great and they did really great and and of course there are parts in this movie that um, made me uh, jump like when they're all together and all of a sudden they're like walking around the house like when it was getting towards the end and also you hear this big thud right on the door and then you hear another thud on the other side of the door and what's also scary is that at some point you know when Mel Gibson he's trying to comfort his son but then when when they had decided to go into the basement because one was trying to come in through the front door and the other was coming through the attic so even that is scary like and so when they had decided to go to the basement you see these um fingers coming from 
from underneath the front door and they're trying to find a way in and that is oh that is terrifying um so yeah now I would say this is um that is just like a scary alien movie in its own way where it's not exactly gory or graphic but it just has this um more like this very serious tone to it very where it's much more where it shows like the the reality of it of what it would probably be like if something like that happened and just seeing not like the sci-fi of it but more like the reality in the situation of it and that is so terrifying and so yeah I would say that is one movie that that is one particular alien movie that actually does scare me and that's something I would even watch at night with the lights off because just how real it feels you know and how serious it is and how scary it gets of when they're trying to get in and when they do and it's like oh it's just it's scary and plus even the music is scary too like um the music is done so well that even the music itself kind of has this eerie uh, feel to it where it's, not, it, it's kind of like it's one of those things where it gets stuck in your head and you can't get it out so it's like that but I, I still think this is a good movie even though this is something uh it, it, I would say it has a this movie has a different scare factor to it like I said where it's not exactly gory but it's just very different and it has this different type of feel to it of the type of uh, scare to it if you know what I mean so <laughs> yes it's uh, I would say it's still like scary to watch it's, it's not something I would watch at night mm, no <laughs> but I still think this is a good movie so to rate it I would um, I would actually give it um, three stars um, I would give it eight out of ten um, let's see uh seventy five percent and what else oh and I'll give it an A as well so um I hope you guys enjoyed this review and let me know what you think of science and is this a is this a favorite movie you like or is there any other alien movies you like but anyway um hope you enjoyed this review <laughs> um but yes there are some parts i do like but those scary parts oh it just gives me the the chills and not only the chills but even though those scary parts kind of leave me feeling kind of paranoid too where I kind of feel like I have to look over my shoulder you know is <laughs> is like that so yeah leave a comment down below what you think of signs and hope you're having a good Halloween so that's all for today and I'll see you at the movies